Now, CBS4 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer. The sunset literally just seconds ago right there, right with that sailboat in the foreground. The sunset, of course, getting later and later now, and I think in a few days we'll be able to catch the sunset in the 615 version of the weathercast. That's our keys camera this evening. 78s across the board, stickiness scales up there. It's a five, normally this time of year it's a two or less. 76% humidity, no signs of that changing. No signs of our warmth changing either. Once again today in the low to mid 80s, just about everywhere. 78 is the normal high current temperatures in the upper 70s to the low 80s going to be another warm and humid evening and a warm and foggy night overnight. There's the breeze southeast anywhere from 8 to 10 miles an hour. There is enough southeasterly pressure to move the fog that forms over the metro areas on inland. That's where it's going to be thickest again overnight tonight. So if you're traveling across the Tamiami Trail or Alligator Alley there, uh, maybe give yourself a little extra time. Visibilities are going to be pretty low by more. There we are after midnight tonight, the fog thickening up and sticking around. There we are at 7 a.m. The most of the densest fog inland and then it burns off quickly as we get into the morning hours with the sunshine through the day today a southeast breeze fair weather cumulus clouds blowing off to the northwest thickest clouds any clouds producing precipitation up over north florida today that's where the deepest moisture is that moisture for showers is going to remain up there for us we're looking good through tomorrow looking good through thursday as well and then on friday a little moisture creeps in maybe a few showers around on friday saturday rain chances also a little bit on the higher side with a few showers around the best chance for storms over north florida then sunday that moisture gets pushed a little bit south Yesterday we were talking about this cold front with the emphasis on the question mark there for Monday. And now it doesn't look like it's going to come through. In fact, it's probably going to stall just to our north because of enough southeasterly breeze and then likely push back to the north. So we stay warm and as the front is close by, our rain chances are fairly high on Sunday, even into Monday. And then they go down a bit by next week. Look at the temperatures across the country. Big, big Arctic air mass here. Already one below in Rapid City, and that doesn't include the windchill. 16 in Chicago, 32 in New York City. Our forecast for tonight, another warm and humid night. Lows in the low 70s. Fog develops. Winds will be going to be light. Tomorrow the fog burns off quickly, and then a good deal of sunshine. Almost a carbon copy of today. High temperature near 84 degrees. On the water, really no problems. Winds east-southeast at 10 to 15. Seas running 2 to 3 feet of light chop on the bays and taking us through the rest of the weekend of the weekend. Staying warm, staying humid a better rain chance as we get into the weekend. Back to you.